way. But it tilted black is flattering. I don't feel like that's no. I feel like that's what's happening. No, that's not working for you so great right now, but I'm looking me. What do you call the thing that hangs off the nose there? A gobbler? Yeah, that's uh that's an interesting gobbler you got there. Yeah, it hangs low. Hey, uh, there's only one place to go if you're playing uh, songs about Dolly Parton and talking about Dolly Parton race cars and uh, and honestly talking about uh, eating donut sticks at a gas station somewhere in Virginia, which is most of the uh, stuff on my Twitter timeline now. It's time for the Hillbilly Headlines. It's now time for the Southern Gentleman's News Briefing. Just kidding. Here are your Hillbilly Headlines on Marty and McGee. Doing things, turn, right? Actually, uh, they said for me to do this one, and then we'll go to you. Uh, wanted man arrested at airport after posting that he was traveling to Florida on social media. Parma Heights, Ohio, these are Travis's people, they arrested a wanted man who fled from authorities earlier this year at an airport on Monday after he posted on Facebook he was headed to Kel Surprise, Florida. He fled from police, Mario Whitehead did, on January 3rd. Did not stop his vehicle and led police on a high-speed chase at 110 miles an hour. Oh, I'm doing chicken. Oh. And he lost control of his vehicle, struck a gas station sign, exited his vehicle and led police on a foot chase, and vanished. They started following him on social media, and he pasted on, uh, posted on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> he, I think I just said he pasted on Facebook that he was traveling to right. Florida. Parma police contacted the airport where he was arrested. Hey, y'all, I'm getting away with this. I'm going to Florida. I've just uh, pasted that on Facebook or whatever it was that I just said. What you got, son? Brown Deer, Wisconsin. That's where we're going to go. <laughs> We've been in the Midwest today. A Wisconsin man's choice of poultry led to a dispute with his wife and a 9-11 call Sunday night police said. Okay. Police responded around 7.30 p.m. to the couple's Brown Deer residence after a 40-year-old woman reported a verbal argument with her 37-year-old husband. Okay. The subjects got into an argument because the male brought home the wrong type of chicken, Brown Deer police wrote in the department's noteworthy calls of the day report. Yeah. Police said the man agreed to stay with his father for the night. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Don't bring home the wrong type of chicken, son. Um, I've been wanting to read this one. This one is very, very interesting. Uh, this is a Florida woman. Yeah. Because Florida. Yeah. A Florida fisherman got quite the catch on Tuesday, but it happened to be an intoxicated 20-year-old woman. <laughs> what? Instead of the prized fish he was after, according to police. Okay. Authorities were called to the St. Johns County Pier at 6 p.m. after a fisherman said a woman bit his fishing line and swam off with his lure. What? Action News Jax reported. <laughs> the fisherman told deputies that the Alexandria Turner, that Alexandria Turner 22, appeared to be intoxicated. Shocking development. When she swam up to his fishing line, cursed at him, according to a police report. The 20-year-old woman then allegedly bit the fishing line and swam away with the rigging. When Turner was asked to come to the peer office, she reportedly became belligerent and refused to walk inside. Turner then started upsetting the, quote, sense of public norm at the pier oh. when police tried to take her into protective custody. Okay. Turner refused to let deputies handcuff her and scream, I'm expletive naked, several times, the report said. <laughs> she was later arrested for disorderly intoxication and resisting arrest yeah. without violence. Yeah, okay. According to Action News Jacks. Action News Jacks. I bet they got some stories down there, son. Action All News Jacks. All right, last, Jacks last one. Florida. Let's take it on down to Florida, <laughs> where, we, where we never left. That dude, was trying to get, that dude was trying to get into Florida and couldn't do it. Punta Gorda, Florida. A Florida couple took a roll in the mud after exchanging their vows in a wearing wedding ceremony. The wedding took place March 23rd at Redneck Mud Park in Punta Gorda. And photos and video of the ceremony quickly went viral. The bride wore a white bikini and veil. And the wedding ceremony took place in the bed of a pickup truck. After they said I do, the groom carried his bride off into a field of mud where they rolled around and exchanged kisses. The video has been seen more than 7 million times and shared more than 100,000 times. 
And we don't see it now because the couple wanted us to pay them to use the video. Put <laughs> them in the mud. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, the final poll results are in. In honor of uh, Coach Beard at Texas Tech, best manufactured baked goods breakfast items, 44% uh, said Pop-Tarts, 25% said Toaster Strudel, 13% said Donut Sticks, and 18% third, Orange Cinnamon Rolls. So there you go. That's a respectable non-last place finish by Orange Cinnamon Rolls. Congratulations. Yeah. It would have been number one on my list. <laughs>